Does it hurt? Well, no, it went down the whole way. The whole way. Oh. Oh. Ah. Doesn't know who is the first one. What is Let that? Oh. Why is it? Book. Why is it so big? They're popping it. Oh no. <laughs> Yes, that was a zit popping video. Oh, why does it make my soul and my face curdle? I never saw disgust more plainly expressed, Darwin once wrote, than on the face of one of my infants at five months, when a piece of ripe cherry was put into his mouth. Charles Darwin, in addition to prolific writing about biology and evolution, was an early experimental psychologist, fascinated by the mechanics of human emotion, tackling the subject in his book, The Expression of the Emotions in Man and Animals. What we're saying is that he loved himself some faces of disgust. But what is disgust? It can emanate from nearly any source, something tactile, a noise, a smell, a scene. And it turns out that look of nausea we all express is universal. Professor Paul Ekman of the University of California, San Francisco found that the expression for disgust is identical in different cultures across the globe, essentially screwing up our noses and pulling down the corners of our mouths. The idea is that not only are we broadcasting our revulsion, we are trying to close off our nostrils by contorting our faces, thereby decreasing the possibility of the offending thing in Entering our nose holes. It's an immediate hardwired reaction. The idea is that disgust evolved a signaling mechanism, an important emotional siren going off in order to avoid disease and death from parasites, pathogens, and harmful microbes. So the most common visceral disgust culprits turn out to be the following. First of all, we have body secretions. We have your feces, your vomit, your sweat, your spit, your blood, your pus, your sexual fluids. And then there are body parts, uh, wounds, toenail clippings. Oh, don't forget decaying foods, especially rotting meat and fish and all other sorts of rubbish, as well as certain living creatures like flies, maggots, lice, worms, rats, the usual suspects, but also dogs and cats, as well as people who are ill or seemingly contaminated. But it all gets interpreted in other subtle ways. Valerie Curtis, a self-described disgustologist from the London School of Public Hygiene and Tropical Medicine says, disgust determines our hygiene behaviors. It determines how close we get to people. It determines who we're going to kiss, who we're going to mate with, who we're going to sit next to, and it determines the people that we shun, and that is something we do a lot of. Moreover, some crafty companies have realized that tapping into disgust could be good for sales. A five-year study released by Arizona State University's W.P. Carey School of Business found that again and again, advertisements that try to simply scare consumers into action are far less effective than ads that also disgust consumers into taking action. However, none of this explains why we live in a world where we willingly watch zip-popping videos and buy products, like Liquid Ass, which is is touted as containing, quote, a genuine foul butt crack smell with hints of dead animal and fresh poo. So what's your pet peeve disgust? Let us know in the comments below. And for a healthy serving of disgust, check out this video on the fear of holes. Oh, and make sure to subscribe.